Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a seagull, which was another request. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this large one, the size is 7.5cm wide by 6cm or 3 inches wide by 2 and 3 quarter inches. This medium seagull crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 5cm wide by 4cm or 2 inches wide by 1.5 inches. This small seagull crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 4cm wide by 3cm or 1.5 inches wide by 1 inch. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be between the medium and the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White, 074 Mercury, 110 Black and 189 Royal Orange. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, grey cotton and a needle to stitch the wing on and the black cotton is to embroider on the eye. Now we'll start on the head and work down the body. I've got my 106, the Snow White, and we start with four chain. For row one, we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. That's a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one single crochet into the last stitch. The two different stitches just gives our work a curved edge just for the top of the head. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch. We leave the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. We work 1 double crochet into the first stitch and we also work one half double crochet and one single crochet into that first stitch. So we've got three stitches in the first stitch and then we work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch.
for row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 3 chain and turn. Into our first stitch we're going to work 1 double crochet, 1 half double crochet and 1 single crochet. So 1 double crochet, that's a treble using UK terms, 1 half double crochet and 1 single crochet into that first stitch and then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches so we put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop there's four loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Into the last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. And that's the head and body done. Now we're not going to fast off, off yet, we're going to work the neatening row. I start with one chain and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch right around our work. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Now for neatening rows it can be easier to use a size or two smaller hook. So just find a suitable place, not too far from the edge, to put your hook and work one slip stitch in each stitch right around the work. And try not to pull, pull them too tight because we want our work to stay flat.
and when we get back to the beginning of the row we fasten off. Now that's the body done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the black and we'll work the tail. Now for the tail, I've got my one, one zero, the black, and we join just in behind, just into one of the stitches here. Because our tail will stick out from in behind the white end of the body and we work five chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain And then we slip stitch into the same place as the join and then we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the two remaining chain. And then slip stitch in the same place as our join and fasten off. And that's the tail done. Now for the wing I've got my 074 the Mercury and we start with 7 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next five chain and then two single crochet into the last chain For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each of the first 4 stitches and then 1 slip stitch into the next stitch. So we just put our hook into the stitch bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. Then we turn our work and slip stitch into the first single crochet, so not the slip stitch, that first slip stitch there. And then we work a joined single crochet over the last three stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we fasten off and this is the right side where our chain is stitches down the back of the, the bird and that goes down towards the tail. So I'll weave in my ends on this other side. Now for the beak I've got my 189 the Royal Orange and we join in the first stitch just after the top of the head. Just The beak works into this area here. 
So I'm joining through both of the loops of the slip stitch. And we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the two remaining chain. And then slip stitch in the same place as the join and fasten off. And that's the beat done. For the first leg, the front one, we join our orange a couple of stitches after the breast part there. So in, I'll join in this stitch here. I'm going to join through the both loops. It just looks better. And we work seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. and then work one chain and slip stitch into the top of that first claw and fasten off. And that's the first leg done. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll work the second leg. Now for the back leg we join in the stitch behind the first leg. And we work seven chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And then work one chain and slip stitch into the top of the first claw and fasten off. And that's all the pieces worked. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's the pieces. I've got the bird and the wing. To make it up all I have to do is stitch the wing to the bird just down along the back and the back of the wing goes almost to the tail. It shows just a little bit of white and embroider on a black eye just at the top of the head there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished seagull. There's the finished seagull. The size is six and a half centimetres wide by four and a half centimetres or two and a half inches wide by one and three quarter inches. If you've liked my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.